When you first log into Fuel Gauge, the program will load the current month and display four key metrics, goal, projected revenue, build, and difference. The dashboard gives you your big picture information about your business. Here you'll find your monthly summary and billing progress bar. The goal is the number you have set for your revenue goal. The build number shows the total dollar amount of the projects that you have marked as build in your project status. The projected number shows you the total projected revenue for projects in the current month. The difference shows any difference between your projected revenue and your goal, so you'll know how much more business you need to generate to meet your goal for the month. Underneath these numbers, you'll find the View Current Month button at any time to return to the current month. This is helpful if you have clicked forward or backward in time several months. Next to this button, you can use the View All Projects dropdown to filter all your projects by status, either in Production, White, Build, Green, or Completed, Gray. The Billing Progress bar is your fuel gauge. There are two bars to pay attention to. The green bar fills up as projects are marked as completed or billed. The black bar fills up as the days go by during the month. By comparing the green billing progress to the black bar, you can always compare your progress to the goal, even before the month is over. The numbers above the green bar are your weekly goals. Fuel Gauge calculates these for you by dividing your monthly goal by four. The numbers below the black bar are your total projected revenue numbers for each week based on the projects you've added. You can see when you expect to increase the billing progress. When the green bar reaches the killing it zone, you've reached your goal and you are killing it. The default view is all of your projects for the current month as well as the next three months. Each month also has its own pop-out summary. Next to the name of the month, you'll see the projected revenue. You can click to open this monthly summary. At the top, it shows the total projected revenue as well as net revenue, subtracting out any project expenses or fixed expenses. You can see these projections broken down by week as well with the total summary at the bottom. Each project has a drag and drop tile inside one of the four weeks for each month. You can click, drag, and drop any project to another week inside of the same month or another month anytime a project deadline changes. Each project also has an Edit Project button. Clicking this opens the Edit Project pop-up window, which shows all the details of the project. These details can be edited and saved, and the changes will be reflected on the dashboard immediately. If you have more projects than you can see on your screen, you can collapse and expand each week to show the projects that you need to see or use the scroll bars. The ice box is for projects that have been put on hold, such as a project that has been accepted but not ready for production, or a client who would like to move a project to the next quarter. You can open the ice box, then simply drag and drop the project in. The total revenue of all projects on hold will automatically be calculated. At any point, you can open the icebox and drag a project back into a month or edit the project in the pop-up window and assign a due date.